Cyberpunk was supposed to be this year's golden egg of content for gamers, the perfect cap on 2020. But it's turned out to be another 2020 letdown for most of the gamers who were excited about it in the first place. What's up? I'm Cosmic, and today on Panther Band Gaming, top five reasons you should wait to buy Cyberpunk 2077. Game developer CD Projekt Red has already made its money back. If you're like me, you tend to want to support non-perfect games with a lot of potential in hopes that your funds will go into making the game better through patches and upgrades. But with this most anticipated game, that won't be necessary. CD Projekt Red has found enough success to keep supporting the game as they originally planned. Granted, when we talked about continued support, I'm pretty sure everyone was thinking DLC and multiplayer, but those can't even exist without this game being patched like someone trying to get a nicotine overdose. They absolutely have no choice but to keep working on the game, and to be fair, I would say CD Projekt Red has a pretty good track record when it comes to commitment and seeing their projects through, even though that's probably what you guys don't want to hear right now. Number 2 Speaking of bugs, this game is a buggy mess. I was fortunate enough to get a PS5, so I've been enjoying myself for the most part with this game, but the bugs, man, the bugs. I can honestly say they're not game-breakingly intrusive, but boy, are they consistent. Luckily, I haven't had a bug happen during a cutscene yet, which I'm grateful for because they're usually very captivating cutscenes but I am definitely the minority with this experience. Even after the initial first day patch and the unexpected big boy patch that was 15 gigs, it's still pretty glitchy and an undeniable track record for kicking you out of the game via software crash. This has made me a game-saving madman. Every time I make even the littlest amount of progress, the tiniest amount of progress, I save, 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 something I never thought I'd do so much outside of editing videos. So wait for the patches. A fluid, clean experience is enough to make this game start rising out of the Metacritic grave. Trust me. Number three. This game is not for last gen consoles. Despite being made from last gen hardware and software, well, let me just say it like this. Cyberpunk is a thick, ambitious monster who can barely carry itself on the next gen consoles, which we all can agree it's almost unrecognizable on last gen consoles. The textures get a little jumpy sometimes on the PS5, but it rarely ever takes you out of the game. It's the most inconsistent bug I found with my playthrough, but last gen players aren't so lucky at this point of development. I've seen some horrendous things come out of base gameplay footage. The game is borderline unplayable, which just sucks, honestly, for the gamers who are literally counting on this game to make their year, especially if they couldn't get their hands on anything next gen. And I say all this to say that I highly doubt a certain amount of patches is going to make the base game look like a premium PS4 or Xbox One game. All of the ambition this game has to offer is killed on last gen. PC is where the game thrives, but if you can't afford an expensive rig or find a deal on one, I say wait. Wait until you can get some next gen hardware in your hands before pursuing Cyberpunk on last gen. The PS4 and the Xbox One is basically the bottom of the barrel when it comes to how you experience this game. I say almost because the Xbox Series S looks like a horrible PS2 game is so bad. The textures, the textures, yikes. They're non-existent at, at times. The gameplay footage has single-handedly convinced me that all games should not be made for all consoles. Real talk. Number four. The best is yet to come. I'm gonna be a little dry about this one, but Cyberpunk has a long way to go before CD Projekt Red can claim the legendary game status they're seeking. This game, for all intents and purposes, is getting made right now in real time. They will not be able to give us that sweet premium DLC content that they gave us in The Witcher until this game has been buried in patches and completely revived to live up to its potential. DLC probably won't be talked about until the middle or end of the next year, and that's being gracious, to be honest. 
if they choose to not focus on last gen they could possibly speed up the process but that would be just a big old smack in the face to all those who bought it for the last gen consoles i'm personally stuck between if they should have delayed it until later next year or if they should have waited to be able to do something so ambitious on next gen first before downsizing the experience for last gen but the simulator has spoken and the game is out even though it's basically undercooked product at this point number five we don't know what they will actually prioritize i'll say it like this i was one of those kids who got stuck in the ps2 era when the ps3 came out i didn't understand what that truly meant until i was able to get my hands on the new ps2 games that were made specifically on the ps3 dev kit for ps3 i was mentally scarred at how low effort the ps2 ports were they were buggy ugly and the complete opposite of immersive i would see this awesome premium ps3 gameplay and trailer and footage and end up playing the discounted resold blonde sale version of it the experience made me hustle hard for a ps3 so that's a good thing but the time between game generations will always be a nightmare in some areas when it comes to the older gen and this game has single-handedly proved that it can still be a nightmare even when the game was made with last gen hardware and software so wait to buy this game until we are all clear about what they will put effort into when it comes to buffing out the different ports they might only show support for the last gen until early next year we really don't even know but cd project red is on a priority run with cyberpunk 2077 and everybody might not be considered a priority especially with next gen consoles getting in more and more homes that's all i have for you folks today what do you think about cyberpunk 2077 should they have done the unthinkable and delayed it again do you think the game will never get better let us know in the comments and if you've enjoyed this content leave a like and subscribe to panther band gaming for more peace